My name is Lee, and I work and live here in New York City. I was born in Ponce, Puerto Rico, 1960. Came here at one years old. Well, I would say, I would start off that I was a painter. And graffiti is a state of mind and an act. The theory was to just to paint your name everywhere as much as you can. I wanted to express, have a language and a conversation with the broader audience, which was the writing public. And maybe political heads of state that would look at it with a different eye. I chose the number five Lexington Avenue line because not only that it was the closest line next to my home, it was strategically going from the bowels of East New York, burnt out at that time, downtown Brooklyn, right through the financial district, Wall Street, ruffling feathers there, up to Midtown, literally past the mayor's mansion, and then boom, right into the boogie down South Bronx where there was a, 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 an urban blight. Thomas, Tom Zig, oops, pardon me, <laughs> Tom. Born in the Bronx, still there, 1950. My first firehouse was on Willis Avenue and 143rd Street in the Bronx. That's about as south in the South Bronx as you can get. And that's where the fires and everything started. And it was like a tumor, like a cancer, it just grew. When we were driving down the street in our rigs, if we saw the top floor of an apartment building all of a sudden become vacant, we knew that was gonna be the next building to burn. People stopped paying their rent. The landlords had stopped paying the supers. The buildings had deteriorated. People would start airmailing their garbage out the window. It was just, it, it would get worse and worse and worse. You had Austin for profit, you had Austin because I'm pissed, you had Austin because I've got nothing better to do. 